Hey everyone, how's it going today? And welcome back to another third, fourth stimulus unemployment update. So the big thing is that in today's update is I really want to take a revisit once again to talk a little bit about the unemployment lawsuit situation. And the reason it has been a little bit of a while, I will admit it's been probably about two weeks since I've made an update about this. But the true reason why is, is because the news has actually been relatively quiet or relatively happening, but on a very local level so it's been very difficult to kind of find information maybe feel free to comment if you have any particular information about your state what's been going on um, if you are brand new here just because we do have some brand new people that have joined ever since between now and the last two weeks um, huge welcome here I guess first off but basically what's going on is is that there are essentially several states specifically 16 states that essentially opened up some kind of lawsuit in order to fight in order to try to bring back the unemployment benefits program, including like the PUA, PUC. And so the story right now is that there are now new decisions that have happened. The great news is we do have some great news to share is, is that some of these decisions have officially closed up, meaning that they've finally been settled and some of it have came back positive. Now, there is some not so good news, which is the fact that there are actually some decisions we've come out that have come out, and sadly, the cases did not result in some kind of victory. So I really just wanna run through each of the states based off of what we do have. For example, I do have new information about New Hampshire, South Carolina, a little bit about Texas, um, and then several other states. But again, if I don't get to your state, we love every single state more or less it's just that because they we probably just don't have new information from that particular state but that's why i always encourage people to really just share it if you guys have anything at all because i think a lot of other people uh would really really appreciate it and i think at the very very end of the day just by knowing what's going on even in states outside of yours i still do think it's just very very insightful because it kind of just lets you know what's possible and also just simply put what's actually physically happening around the country just for personal insight which i think is very interesting to know um so we're gonna get right to it but as always maybe real fast before we begin consider smashing the like button because it's always greatly appreciated and helps to share support um consider subscribing and hitting the bell for similar videos like this and also other kinds of finance topic we will probably be shifting into other kinds of just general finance but at the end of the day i figured that because we are at the end of the day living through a time where I think there is a need for more financial help. Hopefully that can be something relatively insightful as a little bit of a shift from that. Um, and as always, feel free to comment any questions, thoughts um, about honestly just really or any particular information that you might have about your particular state because I think a lot of other people would love to hear it. So with that being said, let's get this video started. So as of the time that I'm making this video right now, we still very, very much have 16 states that have or had some kind of lawsuit going on because obviously, you know, some cases have now officially closed, which we will share in a little bit. Um, but those 16 states, and I'll just actually read it off on the spot right here, are going to be in Indiana, Maryland, Oklahoma, Texas, Florida, Ohio, Arkansas, South Carolina, Tennessee, Louisiana, West Virginia, Missouri, Alabama, Iowa, New Hampshire, and Arizona. So those are the states that he sent essentially have or had some kind of lawsuit going on. So it's essentially the same exact list, but I just figured for new people to kind of just share to make it out there. So we're gonna run through each of the states that we do have information about, and we're gonna start with the state of South Carolina. So the story about South Carolina is that the great news is that they just recently had their hearing yesterday actually officially sat down with the judge and basically talked out what's happening and what basically the lawyer that is representing the case over there right now, his name is Adam Pro Prothero. I, I hope I pronounced his name correctly, but I'll just, I'll just spell it actually. Adam like Adam and Eve and then Prothero like P-R-O-T-H-E-R-O-E. -E. So if you do want want to you can always look up his information because a lot of lawyers are actually releasing information just directly from their own site uh, but the story what ended up happening is that they did end up having their hearing and what ended up being discussed is that they talked about the rights I believe is that they have not actually released the official results yet so that is one state that we are waiting for information just because it literally just happened in the last 48 hours but what did end up happening is is that what really went on in the talks is 
is that they kind of debated that even though unemployment, um, even if they were able to get the right to bring back the unemployment program, there is a lot of uncertainty right now about whether or not they can actually physically and logistically bring it back. And the reason is really because now that unemployment has officially ended, I think that the argument on the unemployed people's side is that if it really comes down to it, they may have to try to apply or simply put is, is to send a request to the unemployment labor department to kind of start the program or to simply put to retro the program again because they're not trying to you know absolutely continue it but what they do want to do is is to just retro the payments from when they actually last ended until basically the actual official date that it was supposed to end which is actually similar to the story of what's happening interestingly right now actually in Arizona so I believe in Arizona what's happening is that they also did have their hearing relatively I think their hearing was a little bit of bef before this week so I believe Arizona's hearing was maybe about two weeks ago or something like that so South Carolina had it yesterday Arizona had it like you know way back in about sometime in September and I think what really finally came out as the result is that they haven't really made absolute decisions yet very similar but the argument that they proposed was very very similar in the sense that even though they may try to gain the right to do it they don't know if they can physically and logistically actually actually tried to request it to actually get it back and so they're trying to plea the case about what they physically want to do if they were to try to reinstate and continue the unemployment. It is believed by a lot of people is that they may be having another hearing coming soon so maybe this is one state that will have some kind of case going forward but of course right now at this time um, we don't have confirmed details but that's the most that we pretty much know. I figured at least I'd share something about it, at least we have some info. Now, the next state that we are going to talk about is some not so good news. I will, I will promise that I do have some great news afterwards in some states, but one of the not so great news is that we did end up having decisions from New Hampshire. And so what really ended up happening is sadly New Hampshire became the state, well one of the states, that did not actually win their lawsuit in order to bring back their unemployment. I believe what really ended up happening is, is that Governor Sununu, he um, had his lawyer come out to kind of speak and essentially is that he argued basically what you probably would think about how unemployment was you know basically disincentivizing or it wasn't incentivizing people to try to go out to find work and so because of that reason they wanted to force people to do that and essentially they ended up deciding that the governor does have the power to do it and it did make sense so sadly because of that reason and I think they never really gave as much voice to the lawyer that you know that was on the unemployed side to really speak out about their case but the bottom line and ideas is that sadly they didn't win their lawsuit so it really is the actual truly the end that is just one thing hard to take in about it um but to on to maybe two relatively bright news is that we do actually also know that now officially in maryland and indiana so the story, the backdrop story to what happened there is, is that those were the two states that were actually the first two states to win their injunction and actually confirm by people there and officially confirm that they were able to continue on to the unemployment. The only story is that because they were technically on an injunction and because the case was still continuing, what that basically meant is, is that the decision could be reversed at any time. But what was really, really great is and it made sense because both of the governors actually did, Governor Hogan and Governor Holcomb, um, the governor of Maryland and the governor of Indiana, they did actually file an appeal. And the really, really great news is, is that their appeal was now officially dismissed. And now that we've actually passed the Labor Day deadline because of what happened, the great news is, is that I believe in those two states, the case has now officially been settled, it has officially been closed, and the great news is, is that it's officially been declared as a victory in the sense that both states have now officially completed their unemployment um, or at least been reinstated for their unemployment program. 
and have basically been able to go through until the actual official end and they don't have to repay back any benefits because there were a lot of people that were you know had relative some fear that you know if something came up about the lawsuits they might have actually ended up having to give back some of the money and you might have heard stories about that feel free to share if you guys had any yourself but the idea is that the great news is is that it's settled if you happen to be there you can keep all your benefits it's been confirmed and everything basically there it's um it's good I think it's great I think and that's the really really great news to at least share something positive and then next is probably going to be the last state that we're going to be talking about and it's largely because it also happens to be the most populated state um, of all of the states that ended unemployment early so and it's going to be in Texas so Texas has a little bit of an interesting story um, maybe a little bit of a backdrop story to retract to what really happened in Texas is that when Texas filed their lawsuit in the very very beginning the very very first time I believe it was because they couldn't identify a plaintiff of some kind. That was the reason why in the beginning when they filed, as in like back in the summertime, they ended up having to postpone the case again. Then I believe the second time what ended up happening is, is that they said that there was something about the lawyer or something about the paperwork or something that ended up happening with their case. I wish I could give an absolute like clear answer, but it's really just because that's the most that they said that caused them to have to postpone their case a second time and then what really ended up happening is is that they ended up trying to raise money to continue the case in order to do a third case or like a third hearing and then what happened there is is that ever since that ended up happening governor abbott ended up catching the pandemic and then he healed from the pandemic and then i think between now and then what happened is that he ended up now being hit with even more lawsuits now not just necessarily about the unemployment situation but basically about just a whole bunch of things that have been happening in the state whether this and this is actually happening in several other states now you guys have probably heard about how there's many states that are now having their own lawsuits about things such as like mask mandates, vaccine mandates, schools, reopenings, things related to the pandemic. So the idea really what's going on is, is that he actually ended up being hit with just a whole bunch of other lawsuits outside of unemployment. But see, it's because of that reason, I think that the unemployment lawsuit took a little bit of a second seat below now because they were trying to prioritize what was important. But the big idea is, is that I believe is that they tried to schedule a third hearing and then what ended up happening is, is that he kind of ran or not ran, but essentially it went quiet. And I think that they ended up just keeping it in a very down low scale. So the story basically what's going on in Texas is that they ended up having another hearing but they haven't really released anything. In fact, at this point in time, I believe is that many people speculate that they probably will not make it as like a very, you know, huge nationwide news. It's probably going to be released if it does end up released on a very, very low key local news kind of level. Um, so that's really the story and situation to what's happening in Texas. If we do find more information, we'll definitely share more. I do know people probably want to hear more about it, but that's really just what's happening. He basically just fled and there's just a lot of questions about what's happening there. Feel free to share maybe if you guys have anything because I know there's a lot of people waiting for stuff there. Um, but beyond this is that's pretty much what I really just wanted to share in today's update so hopefully if you guys found that insightful even though I know there's obviously some great news but also some not so good news depending on your state maybe consider smashing the like button but you guys can decide consider subscribing and as always as mentioned feel free to comment any questions thoughts or information about anything so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching stay safe stay well especially for everyone that's trying to work together to get through this situation and hope to see you guys next time thank you guys so much again